Slat satin and gloss finishes. Is one better than the other? Which is easier to use and which looks the best? Hello everyone, this is Sean from Hancock Guitars. You're probably watching this video because you're about to finish your guitar and you're deciding whether to use flat, satin or gloss. I'm going to try to help you decide by comparing the differences between flat, satin and gloss nitrocellulose lacquer in terms of the acoustic qualities, visual qualities and also the differences applying them. I'll start by trying to define what's meant by flat satin and gloss. Mohawk, who make the lacquer, define flat as 10% sheen, satin as around 30% sheen, and gloss at 80% sheen or higher. Flat and satin are similar in most ways, but satin has a little bit more sheen than flat. This guitar has a flat finish, so you can see it doesn't reflect anything in the finish. Compare that to this arch top, which has been sprayed in gloss, and it has a lot more reflection. Now this hasn't been polished yet. Usually a gloss finish is cut back with fine sandpaper and then polished using polishes to a mirror finish. Finish can affect the resonance of timber. So the type of finish is important to the sound of a guitar. I'm comparing nitrocellulose finishes today, and these are generally thinner than the poly finishes you see on most factory-made guitars, and less likely to impede the sound. The flattened satin nitrocellulose are a lot thinner than the gloss because they need less coats, So technically these are better finishes for the sound of a guitar. Having said that, I don't think the gloss nitrocellulose finish really interferes with the sound of an electric or acoustic steel string guitar. One type of guitars I would avoid using gloss lacquer finishes on are classical guitars. They're built very fine and the finish can definitely impede the resonance. The thinner flat or satin finishes are a better choice for classical guitars or even better still, use French polish like I've used on this little guitar lately. It's an extremely thin finish made from shellac and it won't impede the sound at, at all. No matter what the sheen level, nitrocellulose lacquer does a great job protecting timber from moisture, dirt and light wear. It's durable and tough and creates a watertight membrane between the wood and the outside world. There's one part of the guitar where the sheen is really going to affect the playability though, and that's the neck. Now a lot of players like the feel of a flat or satin finish on the neck. They find it smoother, faster and easier to play on. I'd like to hear your thoughts on this. So if you have a preference for flat or satin necks or even gloss necks, please let us know in the comments below. I have to say, I really love the way a gloss finish brings out the beauty in timber. It has a depth that flat and satin finishes never have. So if you're using some really nice timbers on your guitar, it's worth considering a gloss finish to enhance them. Uh, it'll make the guitar look classier and more refined. There's nothing wrong with using flat or satin though, and I still use them a lot. They look especially good with more modest guitars with plain timbers. These nitrocellulose finishes are sprayed on in the same way regardless of the sheen. They can either be applied with aerosols like these or using a spray gun and compressor. In the aerosols, we have the Mohawk tone finish in flat, satin and gloss, as well as the premium stringed instrument lacquer. All these products are available from Australian Luthier Supplies and can be shipped anywhere in Australia. A word of caution, nitrocellulose has really nasty fumes and the products are very flammable. So always spray in a ventilated area and wear a proper spray painting mask when you're spraying. Because it's solvent based, nitrocellulose dries very quickly and more coats can be applied within minutes. The key difference is that gloss needs a lot more coats than the flattened satin. The gloss really needs to be built up thicker to allow for that final process of cutting back and polishing it. To give you a rough idea of the difference in the time and amount of product used, a flat or satin finish can be applied in half a day. It just needs one session of coats, a light sand and then another session of coats to finish it off. A gloss on the the other hand finish needs more like five days of spraying and then you have to let the guitar cure for about a week before spending at least a day cutting it back and polishing it. 
You also use a lot more product when you spray with gloss. You'll need around six aerosol cans for an acoustic guitar in gloss to build up that thick layer, whereas you'll only need around one can of flat or satin. And gloss also needs grain filling before spraying the timber, whereas flat or satin doesn't necessarily need that. So a gloss finish will be more costly due to the amount of product needed. This cost can be reduced by using a spray gun and a big can of lacquer like this rather than aerosols because the large cans of lacquer are relatively cheaper per litre than the aerosols. I hope that's helped you decide which level of sheen to use on your guitar. If you have any other questions relating to these finishes, please leave a comment. If you found this video informative, please help us out by subscribing to our channel. I'm gonna go do some spraying now so I better take my mask with me. I'll see you next time.